Hey guys, so I want to quickly share uh, one neat trick that I found to create, uh, let's call it sticky, sticky groups for Bubble IO website design. I haven't really found any free or well-functioning solutions for it, so I made uh, my own. It's it's quite basic, but I think it's it's it works really well. It works both on phone and. Uh, on a computer, um, it's relativistically simple to implement. It also allows for scrolling using um, using a menu, um, and the only plugin that you need for it is absolutely free, which is uh, CSS Tools or something like that. I think it's called uh, yes, uh, CSS Tools. Um, so how it essentially works is that uh, when you have uh, pages uh, within your uh, pages or a repeating group within your website which are 100% uh, of the screen height uh, in their dimensions uh, what you can do is uh, use this sort of um, setup uh, in order to Sorry. in order to force uh, the page to scroll to the next page whenever you pass a certain threshold uh, of your scrolling position. In my situation, it's one-fourth of your current, current page height. So as you can see right now, it will start scrolling. And same goes when you scroll back uh, to around one-fourth of the previous element, it scrolls there. Uh, how you do it is that, first of all, I have um, a, a state which essentially says which page am I on. This one is 0, this one is 1, this one is 2, this one is 3, 4, etc. Um, and the other thing is that, so right now, if the current slide, the current page is 0, and current page scrolling position is more then the current page height divided by four, that's why I was saying that um, uh, one four would be somewhere here. Uh, so if current scrolling position is over at this threshold, it will trigger a uh, scroll to the next group, add a very short pause between actions so that you know one action doesn't trigger another automatic action, a small pause, and then set uh, the state to, uh, yeah, to, if this was zero, now th this is one. Uh, and this is important because uh, you want to enable also scrolling back, uh, but to scroll back, you need to know basically from which page you are scrolling to which page. Um, and you just repeat this for all the, all the groups that you have. And in my current case, I, I have the static groups, not a repeating group, but I'm rather sure it is easy to uh, to append to to change it to fit for repeating groups as well. And lastly, uh, in order to enable a proper navigation using uh, yeah, using menus, uh, there is a third thing that you need to do, which essentially I also have a state which says. Uh, is is this automatic scrolling enabled? And as you can see, for all of them, it has to say yes. Uh, because if I used um, if I used um, scroll to a certain element uh, by pressing a menu button or menu text or whatever, um, it would automatically trigger. Uh, these these uh, these functions or whatever you want to call it. So when I do it manually, when I say that if I press uh, go to jewelry, it goes to jewelry. Uh, I temporarily, as you can see, switch off uh, scrolling enabled essentially until it actually scrolls that element, and then I turn it back on, which yields a very uh, fluid, uh, dynamic experience. Uh, here you can see, I can scroll here, it shows it, and then I'm completely free to navigate normally uh, as I did before. 
And yeah, as I said, uh, this works fine with phones. However, uh, there might be over scrolling issues as you can see here. So it's very easy to just turn it off whenever the screen width is less than like 1000 pixels, which applies to most phones. Uh, nevertheless, I hope this helped. Uh, I know this uh, somewhat improvised video, so probably not everything uh, that should have been shared need to be shared. If you want to copy any of this, I'll, uh, you can pause and stop and see how I did it. Essentially, with every second step from one to zero, it's the page width divided by uh, page height divided by four. From one to two, it's uh, page height multiplied by 5 and divided by 4 because I just if this was sorry if this was 1 fourth this would be 5 fourths and it keeps going so it's 9 fourths uh, 13 fourths and so on and so on and for backwards I'm just using uh, in this case it would be 3 fourths of the page and before it scrolls back up. Um, yeah, I think it works neat. Uh, if you have any further questions or if there's any way I can help you out, feel free to contact me. Uh, if you need help with your own website or if you would like to for, for me to build you one, I'm also available for business for at least a week now. Uh, and if you want this web page, I'm also uh, selling it for uh, as cheap as I can right now because the person I was making it for bailed out at the very last second after I built their product page essentially and everything like that. So um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's uh, it's open. Uh, no standing. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Um, have an excellent evening, day, morning, or whatever goes. Peace.